Ugh, you're such a brainless girl, aren't you? It's astonishing how you consistently botch everything you touch. Why do you always have to screw things up? Damn it, you completely screwed up Amelia's interview, didn't you? It's an absolute disaster now, thanks to you. What the hell possessed you to do something so stupid? Why did you go and ruin everything? Why? Hold up, Mom. What's going on here? What exactly are you trying to say? Did I mess up again today? What did I do? I mean, I did all the chores and made breakfast, just like you asked me to. And I even cleaned up and neatly arranged Amelia's trophies and awards on the shelves. Just like you wanted. Everything was spick and span. Yeah, you did what I told you to, Laura. But you also went and did some stuff I didn't ask you to do. Like what? You decided to go rogue once again, Laura. You had a nice little chat with a reporter, didn't you? Oh, I'm on to you. I saw the whole thing. No need to deny it. Yep. I did talk to them. They wanted to interview me, you know? The reporter said they were doing a special feature on geniuses and wanted some quote from me as Amelia's older sister. But don't worry, Mom. I made it crystal clear that I was only going to sing praises about my incredible sister. I always do that. Just like you taught me. I don't think that was the only thing you were asked about, was it? You were asked about your own academic background, too. I know they asked about it. I heard it with my own ears. And what did you say? Well, I simply answered politely and truthfully, like I always do. They were going on about how if my younger sister is amazing, then I must be too, you know? And then they had the nerve to ask where I went to college. So I just told them the honest to goodness truth. I only graduated from high school. No fancy college for me. Why did you have to go on and say that? Stupid girl. They didn't need to know that. That's when you're supposed to evade the question and just say that you're not as amazing as your sister. Huh? But I just told them the truth. They could have easily checked and found that out on their own. What if I lied or avoided answering and then they checked? That wouldn't be good either. Listen up. You better grasp this reality, all right? Your sister, she's got a freaking brilliant mind, and everything she touches turns to gold. She's at the top of the ladder in everything she does. The TV station is all hyped up to interview her and uncover her secrets. She's the star of the show. But guess what they'll think when they come across you? The dim-witted sister who barely made it through high school and has zero talent to show for. It's a stain on Amelia's perfect narrative. Don't you dare be the annoying glitch in the system, Laura. Oh no. I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't think about that. I just answered what they asked me. I didn't mean to mess things up for Amelia. I can't wrap my head around your mind-numbing stupidity. You're a complete and utter moron. It's mind-boggling. I'm at a loss for what to do with you, honestly. Ugh. I'm so infuriated that I can't stand the sight of your face for another second. Just disappear. Just vanish from here. This very instant. Right freaking now. What? Go away? Well, guess what? You mentioned being on the early shift at work this month, didn't you? You've had a little taste of the action, Miss High School Grad. Now beat it and crawl back to your so-called job. This is the only thing you're good at, after all. And do me a favor. Spare me the agony of seeing your face around here any longer today. Just vanish from my sight, would you? Mom got mad at you again today. That just cracks me up. You never learn, sis. I don't even know how many times this has happened now. You ruin mom's mood and get kicked out of the house for the day. <laughs> get your act together and hit the books, big sis. Like I do. Haven't you learned anything by now? Even if I study, I never know when I'm going to incur the queen's wrath. I never know what's going to set her off. Her moods are so unpredictable. Dealing with her is like walking through a minefield blindfolded. If you just learn how to deal with her and her moods, you can get through them without stepping on the lines. <laughs> I don't understand why it's always you who steps on the mines. I mean, it's not like she hides her feelings. You know, I sometimes don't believe we're really sisters. 
I never have this problem. Yeah, I guess. You may be right. Maybe knowing how to deal with her moods is directly proportional to how much love and money she gives to each of us. After all, you get way more of both of those things from her. And you always have. That's why there's such a gap between you and me, Amelia. Oh, come on now. Here we go with this again. Cue the violins. Are you trying to say that the reason you're stupid and don't know how to get along with mom is because she doesn't love you or spend money on you? Am I understanding this correctly? Yeah, I actually do think that has something to do with it. There's an obvious connection. Mom and dad both doted on you so much from the time you were little. You've always been their favorite. They knew from that age that you were so much smarter than me. And they obviously decided that spending money on me, the dumb one, was a waste of resources. So they didn't let me study anything or do anything much outside the bare minimum. But they let you do and study anything that you wanted, no matter how much it cost. So I think that's how this gap between us opened up and got wider and wider. You seriously can't see that? Um, I hate to interrupt your pity party, but not being loved enough by mom and dad isn't the reason you're stupid. The truth is that you are stupid to start out with. That's why they don't love you. That's pretty harsh, Amelia. Is that really what you think of me? If it bothered you that much, you could have tried harder at school when you had the chance. But you never made any effort there. So please, don't try to play the victim. I tried the best I could. You have no idea the effort I made at school. No idea at all. I had the best grades in class in high school and I was headed for college. But you wouldn't know that, would you? Oh, really? Big deal. Too bad all that hard work was for nothing since I turned out to be a genius. <laughs> I mean, I was number one in the whole country for SAT scores. Nobody in the whole country did better on that test than me. And I won the National Junior Women's Tennis title to boot. I've only been playing for three years. Not to mention that I won a National Scholars Award for an essay that I just dashed off basically on a whim. Yeah, when I'm your sibling, it's really pointless to try to compete. I do feel a bit sorry for you. Yeah, you're exactly right. And I never tried to compete with you. I just tried to be a good daughter and sister. But nobody seems to care about that stuff that I do for you all. So I never get any praise from them no matter what I do or how hard I try. Eventually... They only wanted to spend money for your education and nothing on mine. And they wouldn't allow me to go to college. Even though I was accepted by more than one school, I can still remember having to say no to them after they sent me acceptance letters. What a sad memory that is. Ugh, spare me. Boo hoo! Yeah, you normies have it so tough. Honestly, I don't know where to start. Sure, it's not your fault that you're not geniuses, but it's not my fault either. We were all born the way that we were born. So keep your chin up and keep taking care of stuff for your genius sister, Normie. Oops, I mean, Laura. Hey, Laura. Long time no see, girl. How have you been? Whoa! Hi, Uncle Owen! That's right, my dear niece. Here I am, in the flesh. Or, should I say, through the airwaves. So I heard from your mom that work's been keeping you really busy lately. Yeah, but not as busy as you are. Always jetting all over the world. What a cool life you lead! Aw, shucks. <laughs> Yeah, busy is basically good, but I was almost too busy to attend this wedding. So, how have you been sleeping lately? You getting your rest? You gotta rest properly if you're gonna work properly, Laura. Don't forget that. A wedding? That doesn't ring a bell. What wedding are you talking about? 
Whose? Why, your sister's wedding, of course. Silly girl, you always crack a good joke. <laughs> hey, are you really okay, Laura? Did you really not remember about this wedding? It seems like working too hard might be affecting your memory. Did you seriously forget about this? No, really. This is the first time I've heard about it. I swear. What's this about Amelia getting married? I honestly haven't heard a thing about it. This is news to me. You haven't heard a thing about it? Hmm. You, Amelia, and your folks are all living under the same roof, and you haven't heard anything about her getting married? How does that happen? Why, I even came back from overseas just so I could attend this wedding this weekend. Your mom let me know about it. That's why I'm here. Hang on a minute. Mom told you it was this weekend? Amelia's wedding is this weekend? I'm trying to process this. Laura, do you really not know anything about it? I'm seriously asking you now. It's not just that you're really busy with work and it went in one ear and out the other when someone told you. That's what happened, right? I'm concerned about you. No, I definitely haven't been told about it by anyone. How can this be? Nobody has said a word to me about it. Not my parents and not Amelia. What the hell? What's that supposed to mean? They told me that you can't make it because of work. That's exactly what your mom told me. So I thought that at least you and I could have dinner or something, since I won't see you at the wedding. I'm actually pretty close to your office right now. I can see your building from here, in fact. Really? Okay. Just wait around there for a little bit. Let's meet for lunch. But first, I'm going to call mom and ask her what's going on. Mom, what's going on? I just heard some really weird news. Amelia's getting married? Is this true? That can't be true, right? And it's this weekend? Nobody has said a thing to me about it. Huh? Where did you hear that? That's supposed to be a secret. A secret? Who are you keeping it a secret from? Me? If Uncle Owen hadn't told me, I wouldn't know about it at all. Mom. You were going to have me go upstate and put flowers on Grandma and Grandpa's graves this weekend, weren't you? You even said, Just go up there and spend the night. I'll pay for it. I thought that was weird. Now I know the reason for it. And it turns out that this weekend is Amelia's wedding ceremony? What the hell is going on? Oh, jeez, lighten up, Laura. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we kept it secret from you, so what? But my big mouth brother spilled the beans. That's just like him too. You owe me an explanation right now. Why didn't you tell me about my only sister's wedding? I really don't need to explain that to you, do I? It's because an uneducated person like you isn't worthy of a place in this wedding. What? You can't be serious. Look, Laura, the man Amelia is marrying, he's the son of a very prominent family. Both he and his father are doctors. Obviously, there's nobody in this household with just a high school education like yours. I couldn't possibly mix you in with that group. It'd be embarrassing for both your sister and for me. Now, wait just a minute. Embarrassing? You're telling me that my lack of education is the reason that you didn't invite me to Amelia's wedding? My education. I'm her sister and your daughter. Does that count for nothing? You're treating me like this simply because I only graduated high school? What is wrong with you? Well, that's just what you are, so it is what it is, Laura. It's reality, so deal with it. You're the only one who didn't go to college. That's not Amelia's fault. Oh, come on. You're right. It's not her fault. It's yours. I'm not the one who made that decision. It was you. You're responsible. You and Dad both told me to give up on going to college. Remember? Forget about college, Laura. We have to support Amelia. You understand, right? You only ever spent the bare minimum on my education. That was all you, Mom. All you. No, Laura, it's very simple. It's your fault for being dumber than Amelia. You can't blame me or anyone else for that. If only you were as talented or more talented than her. Then, of course, you would have gone to college and maybe more. But the reality is you're a waste of space. 
stupid and slow to grasp things. You're a poor excuse for a daughter. So a high school education is perfect for you, perfectly fitting. Anything more than that would have been a waste of time and money. What? Are you actually saying this to me right now? Really? That's all you need to know. Just pay attention to what we're telling you and follow my orders. Do not come to this wedding. You're an embarrassment with a high school education and your menial job. If you come, the whole thing will be spoiled. So stay away from your sister's wedding. You've been warned. Well, I only have a high school education too. So I guess I won't be attending this wedding either. It's only fair. What? And who is this? Don't tell me that my lovely niece is being frozen out of the wedding for a dumb reason like that. Is that what's going on? Little sister, I gotta say, I'm disappointed in you. What? Is that you, Owen? Why are you in this conversation? You told me Laura couldn't make the wedding because of work. That was a lie. I came all the way back here from an assignment abroad, and I want to see my nieces. Both of them. So I thought that, since I can't see Laura at the wedding, I'd at least have lunch with her. I'm actually near Laura's office right now. Right around the corner, in fact. What? Yeah. And I just met up with her, and we're having coffee as we speak. So, what the hell is this all about? Start explaining. I'm listening. Uh, well... So a high school education is an embarrassment. Is that your opinion? If that's the case, then I'm an embarrassment to you as well, huh? I mean, I'm seriously asking you now. Because Laura and I are both nothing but high school graduates. No, Owen, that's not what I'm saying. Not at all. I have no intention of saying anything like that about you. Then what are you saying? I don't understand. Are you saying that Laura is especially stupid? Is that it? If so, that's just cruel. Not to mention, wrong. She's your own flesh and blood. You gave birth to her. What is wrong with you? Why the hell are you singling her out for ridicule? What's the reason? Tell me the reason, damn you! Oh, and calm down. It's nothing. It's just family stuff. This is really upsetting to me. Extremely upsetting. I don't want to believe that. All this time, you've been ridiculing, looking down on me and my lack of education. And that, all this time, our parents, who died so young and worked so hard, and who left it to me as the older brother to raise up their daughter into a good woman. But all this time, you've been ashamed of me, their only son, and your only family. I don't want to believe that. That you've been embarrassed, ashamed by my lack of education. That this is what you've actually thought of me all this time. Is that what you think of me? Who raised you all by myself? And of our beloved parents, who gave that responsibility to me? Answer me! No, 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 that's not true. I've never been ashamed of you, never, ever. I'm grateful for the sacrifices you made for me. So grateful. Always in your debt. And you've done so much for yourself, too. Such a success. I'm always so proud to tell people about my brother, the famous photographer. Then you should be just as proud to tell people about your amazing daughter. I saw this whole conversation between the two of you. I'm disgusted. Laura declined to go to college so that Amelia could. Isn't that true? She sacrificed for her family, just the same as I did. Exactly the same. Yes, I see what you mean, Owen. I, I see. And she's working her butt off and competing with others who have more education than her. Do you even know that? Even see it? You should be bragging to everyone about her. She's a fighter, and she has heart. She puts her family first. Show her some love and respect. She's a cooler person than any genius daughter could ever be. Take it easy. You're, you're taking this all wrong. And yet, all Laura gets from you is disrespect and insults. You need to get your priorities straight, sister. If this keeps up, I won't be at Amelia's wedding. You can be sure of that. Yeah, actually, you can just count me out. I'm passing on this wedding. Yeah, 
I'm out. What? Hang on. You came all this way here from overseas? Hey, I'm just an uneducated guy. An embarrassment, right? I'm best kept secret, right? You don't want me mixing with a prominent medical family. That wouldn't do. Wouldn't want to upset anyone. So please give Amelia my regards and wish her and the groom all the best. Laura, please! You've got to talk to Uncle Owen! Please tell him we need him at the wedding. He has to come. Why? Why is it so important that he comes? Because James's parents are huge fans of his, and they're expecting to meet him. They've been looking forward to it for months. If he doesn't show up at the wedding, it's going to look really bad. Not to mention that they've been planning to ask him to play the piano at the ceremony. And I really want him there too. You know Uncle Owen is a world-class pianist, right? Shut up! I know that! Just call him and get him to come to our wedding! Do your duty! We've been keeping you a secret from James and his family, so... If we tell them why Uncle Owen's not coming, then we have to tell them about you, too! Ah, I see. They don't even know that you have an older sister, huh? Please, Laura, talk to him! You have to get him to come. Please! If you do, I promise we'll treat you better and stop insulting you all the time. Actually, I don't care what you say about me from now on. I've been used to it for years. It doesn't faze me anymore, and it hasn't for a long time. And there's nothing to persuade Uncle Owen about. It's very simple. He's done. No, you don't mean that. Why don't you go ahead and persuade him yourself, genius? Your superior brain power and reaction time should be really useful for that. Actually, we're already trying that. You didn't need to tell me that. But it looks like he might have blocked me or something. And I can't get a hold of him. We're really trouble on this. And we need your help. But you're a genius. So that shouldn't be a problem, right? I mean, you can figure out a way around a simple little thing like a blocked number, right? Should be easy for you. Come on! You're a thousand times smarter and more talented than me. So, I'm sure you'll find a way to make it happen. You got this, sis. Take care of it on your own. You can do it. As for me, this whole situation is a good reason for me to get out of this house. Goodbye. Please, Laura, the wedding is today. If your Uncle Owen doesn't come today, it's really gonna look bad. So please talk to him. Persuade him to come somehow. I mean, you two are together somewhere anyway, right? Wait, are you still looking for a replacement pianist for Amelia's wedding? Is that what this is about? Obviously not, I told you before. James's family are big fans of your uncle, and they've been looking forward to meeting him. The truth is we haven't told them he's not coming. So please, bring him over here right now. In exchange for your help on this, we'll even have a seat of honor for you to thank you. Oh, in exchange for... and to thank me? Are you kidding? I wouldn't go to this wedding even if I'd been properly invited. Which I wasn't. Remember? Really, you do this now. You wait until this moment of desperation to finally show me some respect and appreciation. I am so... So disappointed in you all. You watch your tone of voice with me, Laura. Just who do you think you're talking to? And you take this attitude after I've offered you a seat of honor and everything? If this wedding is a disaster, it'll be your fault. Now I'm ordering you as your mother. Bring Uncle Owen here right now. If you don't, we're through. I will disown you, and you will not be part of this family ever again. Oh, that's rough, but I'm sorry. Uncle Owen and I are actually at the airport right now. What? What airport? Why? Yeah, and we're literally about to take off too. So obviously we can't make it to the wedding. I'm a little sad about being disowned, but there really isn't anything in it for me, being part of that family. So I'll be fine. Thanks for everything and take care. Hang on, wait a minute. Where in the world do you think you're going? 
Oh, I've decided to go with Uncle Owen. He suggested that I quit my company and work for him as his assistant. So... You did? So you're leaving with him? Yeah. He says he's having trouble keeping up with stuff and needs help. Too many emails all the time, and he's trying to get everything done with just one phone. He says it's going to get even more hectic soon. So he's been looking for someone to manage his schedule. And you're going to do that for him? Yeah. You, of all people, should know that I've done a lot of different kinds of work. I worked as a secretary before, so I'm good at scheduling and that kind of thing. And Uncle Owen says he trusts me and wants me to do that stuff for him. So... What the... So that's why neither of us is going to make it to the wedding. Sorry! We'll be wishing you all the best with the wedding. Hope it goes well. Subsequently, it seems like mom attempted to salvage the situation with the groom's family and maintain the illusion that Uncle Owen would be present at the wedding. However, it didn't come as a surprise when they immediately noticed his absence and understandably became upset. They demanded an explanation from mom, who eventually accepted the inevitable and revealed the truth about Uncle Owen's decision to skip the wedding, as well as my existence as their daughter with just a high school education. The groom and his family were profoundly shocked and disheartened by these revelations, leading them to postpone the wedding. Shortly after, they made the difficult choice to call off the engagement entirely. The groom's father expressed concerns about welcoming a new daughter into their family whom they couldn't fully trust. Adding to the distress, Uncle Owen decided to sever all ties with mom as well. I've been informed that mom now spends her nights in tears, deeply affected by the rejection from her older brother, who had raised her on his own.